Hello everybody, my name is Rupikal, and I am back with another awesome resource pack video for you all. Now this one is going to be a bit different because instead of covering a mob, we're covering a block, specifically redstone, or now it's bluestone. <laughs> so as you can see here, I have retextured blue redstone <laughs> to be blue. So redstone blocks, bluestone blocks, redstone line, bluestone line. And as you can see here, yeah, it, it's all different shades, depending on the power level, which was actually very difficult to do. And as you can see here, we've got the repeaters. They're all blue and the comparators, and the redstone torches. All right, we've got the trap chests over here. They've got some blue on there too. And we've got the observer here. Here we can go ahead and pop down a block. Boom, blue. And we've got bluestone ore, which has, now looks kind of like the um, nether quartz ore. But yeah, I needed something to differentiate uh, the bluestone ore from like lapis or diamonds because there are already, yeah, there are already two blue ores. So yeah, so this was based off of a video uh, that Mumbo Jumbo did years ago where he uh, added bluestone into the game as an April Fool's joke. And of course that was like separate from redstone. Uh, and then later somebody made that into a mod, which was pretty cool. And a few people have done some texture, pack, texture packs that do this, um, which is also really cool. But I was looking at those. Um, they're actually, most of the, there was one that was made a long time ago. It's no longer available, unfortunately. And then there's another one that uses Optifine to work. Um, and then there were a couple others that weren't finished yet. But yeah, this one does not use any mods at all. You can use this without mods. Um, it only works in 1.14 and 1.14 and up, unfortunately. Um, which is, yeah, a bit of a bummer. But hey, if you're in those versions, 1.14, 1.15, and probably any future versions, uh, yeah, you'll be able to have bluestone. And uh, now as you can see here, the particles are black, which is a bit annoying. I wanted to make them blue. But unfortunately, I can't remove the red tint that's applied to these um, that, you know, makes the particles red for redstone. Uh, so the best I could do was to make them black. Uh, and yeah, this is, you know, a lot of this stuff. Uh, I made this in actually just like a week, which is, I'm actually rather impressed with myself. Uh, but that does mean that, you know, maybe some of these textures could use stone work still. So if there are any improvements, uh, if there are anything that like, oh, hey, you should change this a bit, uh, let me know down in the comments um, and I'll, you know, maybe I'll make some cheat changes and tweaks and I'll up leave updates to that down below in the comments. Um, I'll try to keep this updated to upcoming versions of Minecraft as well. Um, and yeah, everything here is retextured. Um, something I didn't put out here are all the rails. Look at that. They're all... Here, we'll just grab a stack. Look at this. Yep, they're all blue. Yep. So just like that. Yeah, so if you want this, you can download it below in the description. Uh, right now, there are two separate packs for 1.14 and 1.15. Um, you will need the specific pack for your version um, because, uh, well, <laughs> these chests are, the trap chests will look weird if you use 1.14 uh, one in the 1.15 version. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, yeah, guys, if you have any suggestions for how I can improve this, maybe, uh, let me know down below in the description. Here we can see a few of the redstone projects I've done. Look at that. That looks pretty good in blue. But yeah, guys, that's going to be all for me. Goodbye and excelsior. Oh, and make sure you subscribe and leave a like, turn on notifications, all that awesome stuff. Bye!